Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anton here and we're back with another Discord Pi video. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the group, uh, which is also part of the commands framework, which allows us to pretty much create groups so we can execute uh, commands as subcommands. Okay, so a good example would be, let's say if I have a, um, hmm, let's say if I have a help command, for example, right? And let's just say that help command can take in, you know, different arguments. So let's just say, uh, you know, let's say, you know, help misc would display all commands for the miscellaneous commands, right? And help music would display music commands, help, uh, I don't know, um, what else? Help fun would display fun commands, help uh, admin would display admin commands, and etc. Right? Uh, the, probably the, the most basic thing you could do is you can create a command. Let's just do that client command, name equal help command. And we're going to do uh, async def uh, help command. We're going to give it a context and we can take in one arg and then we can go ahead and check what the argument is. So if arg is equal to help, right? Or no, I'm sorry, not help, misc. We can go ahead and do await ctx.channel.send uh, misc command, right? And if lf arg is equal to, I don't know, fun, we can do await.ctx.channel.send uh, fun command and etc. You guys get the idea. So let's try that out. So if I do help command that work. Uh, oh, we're missing an arg. So if we do help command misc, right? That's going to display all of the possible uh, commands for miscellaneous, right? If I do help command uh, fun, right? And the fun command. Now you can think of this like a sub command, right? So help command fun, etc. right? Instead of doing all of these different checks, because again, we're trying to avoid like, you know, having like a whole bunch of if else statements, right? I mean, eventually you might need to have it if the library doesn't support a specific feature. But the thing is the library does support a really special feature and that's grouping our commands into uh, subcommands. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and why it's gonna be so much better. Okay, so instead of doing client.command, so we're gonna do client.group and I'm gonna name this group help command and we're not gonna have any alias for it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say async def, we're gonna call this help command. And this is gonna take in the context and we're not gonna take in any parameters. So we're just gonna say await ctx.channel.send. Uh, so this is just the base help command and we'll probably display options like, like sub commands. So we're gonna say sub commands will be misc fun music for now, okay? All right, so cool, let's try and invoke that. So let's do help CMD, base help command, sub commands, misc fun music. Okay, and if I go ahead, let me just try this real quick, help CMD, okay? Because that's the name of it, okay? So now we can actually go ahead and create uh, sub commands. So we're gonna go ahead and do help CMD dot command. And we'll just say the name is misc, right? Because the name of our command is help CMD. So we're gonna do async def and we'll call this misc sub command and we'll say uh, ctx. We'll just say await ctx.channel.send misc sub command from help. Obviously that doesn't really make too much sense but I'm just showing you guys the basic idea, right? So right now uh, help command is not defined. Oh, that's because um, it's supposed to be help underscore. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think it's whatever the name of the function is it has to follow that so if the name of this function is help command like for example help cmd then it has to be help cmd like that right, so if i do underscore it has to be help underscore cmd we're basically referencing this function and we're calling command on it okay so this is going to be a sub command okay so let's do help cmd whoops help cmd so that's going to be the base command i mean the base yeah help command helps cmd misc. Uh, notice how it invokes both of it. So what we need to do is we need to go to help cmd, the original group, or the base the base command. We're gonna say invoke without command, set that to true, okay? And that's gonna prevent it from being invoked. So if we do help cmd misc, it's gonna enable the, or it's gonna enable the uh, misc command right over there. I'm sorry, it's going to uh, invoke the miscellaneous sub command, which is a sub command of help. But if we do help command, that's going to invoke the base help command, okay? And you can use this to your advantage. We can go ahead and create more subcommands just by referencing the name of the function for our group. So in this case, it's help CMD. So if, of course, if this was, you know, help command like that, 
you need to make sure that all of these are also help commands. So this is basically a group, remember, okay? And we, if we want to register a new subcommand, so let's just say fun, async def uh, fun subcommand, ctx, await ctx channel, send uh, fun subcommand of help. Obviously not too informative, but fun. There you go, fun sub, sub command of help, okay? And similarly, like the regular commands, you can also add a bunch of checks. So you can go ahead and do commands dot has uh, any role, and we'll just pass in, uh, I guess, arguments, some arguments. So we'll just say if they have the, uh, if they have the, which role do I want to check for? Uh, I have a bunch of roles on my server. Let me see what roles I have. If they have the Snapchat role, for example, Snapchat, YouTube, and uh, Node.js, I think that's another role. No, it's Node, okay. So we have any of these roles and this command will work, okay. Obviously, that's just a test, but I just wanna show you guys how it works. So so I don't think I have any of those roles. So let's just do uh, help CMD fun. That shouldn't work because you are missing at least one of the required roles, okay. But if I give myself that role, obviously this would be like, you know, a fun role, for example. So let's just say, let's just say if you have a, uh, an economy system or some kind of, you know, uh, you know, some kind of bot that, you know, has some kind of a virtual environment, right? And only specific users that are part of that role can invoke that command. So maybe for example, let's say you have a mini Pokemon bot. Uh, you wanna make sure that only people with the Pokemon role can invoke that command. If they don't have that Pokemon role, then they can't invoke that command at all. And that goes back to the whole uh, previous video where we talk about checks. Let's just give myself the YouTube role. So now that I have that, I can invoke this command. Uh, wait, did I give myself? Oh, I didn't. Okay. So I'm just showing you guys that yes, you can use checks for sub commands as well. Okay. And that's pretty uh, straightforward. So you can see that, yes, this looks so much nicer. Right, because we don't have to, we can avoid all of those, you know, if else statements. Okay, because internally the library and everything underneath the hood, it's handling all of those things for us. Okay, so we don't have to worry about what's ha what's happening underneath the hood. We just need to worry about what's happening in the current context over here. So let's do music and that's gonna do async def fun subcommand, or I'm sorry, not fun subcommand. It's a uh, music subcommand. And of course, you can also take an argument as well, but I'm just showing you guys the basic implementation of this. So music sub command, and let's just take in one argument for this. So if I go over here, if I do help CMD music, right? It's going to expect, expect one argument for that. So help CMD music one, and that's gonna work. Okay, exactly. That's pretty much all there is to it with groups. Okay, you can use it to your advantage. And of course, if you ever have any doubts, just go ahead and check the documentation, join the official Discord Pi server. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, in the next video, I think in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about, um, I think COGS, because I feel like we've covered majority of the things. Right now, obviously our entire file is starting to look a little bit messy. But in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually group your, uh, group your commands together as well as events, which is going to be really fun. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.